Choice or no choice, a new law goes into effect next school year. It is supposed to allow parents to choose where their kids go to school, even if it's outside their district. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller joining us live from the Polk County School Board tonight. And Paul, this new law may sound good to parents, but they need to keep in mind each school has a limited number of seats, meaning some parents may not get their first choice. And as you might imagine, Keith, most of the higher performing schools are already full. So this school choice program for some parents, they say, gives them absolutely no choice at all. Extremely frustrating. And mom Jessica McCormick isn't talking about taking care of three-year-old Christopher and one-year-old Cameron. Instead, she's frustrated about trying to transfer her five-year-old son Clayton to a higher performing school. On Monday, the very first day, parents were allowed to request the change, a huge shock. How all of a sudden are, is every, almost every high performing school in the area that was previously open to transfers now automatically closed at capacity? What's worse, Jessica already told officials at Clayton's current school he won't be coming back next year because she was assured, she claims, he'd have a spot at the new school. Now there's no room at either. So, because all the good schools are closed in my area and any school that is open as far as the school choice, I would have to drive 20 to 30 minutes away to put him in a lower performing school. We went to the school board to get answers. They told us only one person is very familiar with the program and she's actually been at a meeting all day. They wouldn't answer any specific questions. Instead, they gave us a broad answer about the program overall. Right. Is there a choice for parents? Again, there's a process that's laid out. It's based on availability of the schools and the seating that's available. If you're going to be close at capacity, that should have been something that was told way ahead of time. So the big question, will Clayton be going to one of these Polk County schools next year? His mom, not so sure right now. She says she might have to send him to private school. As for all the schools and their rankings, we put a list up on our website. WFLA. Certainly can be frustrating for all of those parents who want to get on certain school and can't. Thank you, Paul Mueller, live in Polk County.